As the endless queues persist, Lagos residents are lamenting the continue, continuous difficulty and high level of bribery being experienced at petrol stations. Plus, TV news correspondent Destiny Momo has more. For a month now, what came as bad fuel into Nigeria has caused more pain and untold hardship on the citizens. As the long queues continue, black marketer operators are having a field day as they saturate the stations to buy petroleum products. Some individuals in the queue lament waiting up to six hours to get fuel. We started experiencing it when the bad fuel came, which was withdrawn. And withdrawing that also would deplete whatever we should have had. So, but the only problem I have is that uh, the 1.2 billion liters that NNPC said is coming, whether it has arrived or is in stock, that is what we don't know now. We check the time now, this past three. That means I've been here for over six hours just because I want to get to four. Government passed me, they do everything they're supposed to do. They know what to do and they ought to do it. So now their job is that. Now why they be, now why they be selective officials? I don't know what to tell the government because we have cried enough. Haven't they seen? Have they not heard? Can they see it? Do we have to cry again? What else do we cry? We have cried enough. While some accuse the president, who doubles as the Minister of Petroleum, of abandoning the citizens in these difficult times, others complain that fuel attendants demand bribe before dispensing. First of all, I even went there to say what was going on. As I missed the office officer, as a last man, they said I should ask Nigeria they do. I said, who should Nigeria they do? They said I should give them one, they will pass me in. I said, like I'm on, they said, okay, I should give them one five. Bro, they said in Kebe, they collect one thousand five, one thousand naira for Kebe, to five meters square by. Who are those collecting the money? They are attending that in police so that's people are getting here. Even the last month, they were supposed to address the situation. They are passing people that give them money. So I are taking it to all of us here. The NMPC Group Managing Director, Malamela Keari, has, however, apologized to Nigerians for the pains experienced at fuel stations, appealing to consumers to only buy the quantity they needed and noting that there was no plan to increase the pump price, as speculated by many. Destiny Mama, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.